origami. Hold on. Zach, I, no. I pressed the record button and the game is still going. It is still going. I got. I mean, we're still, we're still. There's still football happening. There's still football. <laughs> for those of you who are watching this, for whatever stupid reason, given the thumbnail <laughs> that I'm sure I'm going to come up with for this, uh, I am. Uh, I, uh, is, this, is it, you remember making a dumb suggestion last episode? Yeah. We immediately yeah. stopped recording. I heated up some vegetable rolls, uh, and here we are. Yep. Uh, and the Buffalo Bills and Tennessee Titans football game is still going on, uh, and it's really quite disgusting. <laughs> Third down. Uh, yeah, for uh, Bills forty-one uh, over Tennessee Titans uh, seven. The wonderful thing is there might be a uh, another video in between these two videos. That we recorded way later uh, about House of the Dragon uh, that does not have uh, any Bill's commentary. In it. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I would actually say it's likely. <laughs> you should check in the description of this video. There will be a nerd poll there. You should go and get in on that nerd poll. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but you should go we're, check it we're out. We're torn between two ideas, and we'll see where those, uh, which, which one shakes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's a lot of lo- a lot of exciting things in either of those polls. Yep, we it's likely going to be uh, more than one question uh, in either case. We will elaborate on it more in a future video uh, because we must necessarily have figured it out before this video goes live. <laughs> yep. So Zach, we're doing a quick one today. We're talking about what the characters of House of the Dragon. Would main in Smash? Is that what we're doing? We are we are looking at the main cast of House of the Dragon. Yeah. Uh, which I guess is going to have a uh, young and old variant of uh, some folks here, but yeah. that's fine. Maybe they maybe they grow into different characters. As they or maybe we'll just bundle them up if we don't think that's the case. But we're going to take these characters and uh, talk about who they would main in Smash Bros. Uh, correct. Uh, so Zach, why don't you take, why don't, why don't we, why don't you start with, with older Rhaenyra? Uh, older Rhaenyra, uh, it's hard to tell because we haven't, uh, uh, or, or at least I, I haven't seen this character yet because I haven't seen the newest episode and I don't know if that's the one with the time skip. It could be, it probably isn't, but it could be. Um, and... Uh, but I feel like Rainier, like we're seeing stuff right now that sets her up for who she becomes. Uh, almost like that's the point of there being an earlier period. So I think we can safely lump the Rainiers together uh, as maining the same character all the way through. Let's see. Rainier is... Uh... She makes brash decisions very cavalierly we talked about this in house of the dragon (laughs) so it feels like she would main somebody uh who's a little bit like a glass cannon i guess somebody who can dish out a lot of damage but can get clowned on really easily Hmm. um so so you're 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 telling me you're you're telling me that you think Rhaenyra Targaryen is what an Olimar? Um, She's not strategic enough for an Olimar, Zach. No. Uh, is she a Robin? Uh, maybe a Robin. I could see. Maybe she's like an old school fox player, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she could be, uh, oh, me a Mewtwo player. I like uh, the Mewtwo idea of Rhaenyra can... as a Mewtwo. Yeah, Rhaenyra plays Mewtwo, uh, and she sometimes, like, is really sick and is, like, doing the most disgusting, like, uh, strings imaginable on you. And other times, uh, <laughs> she is just getting absolutely crushed by somebody yeah other, other times she's just getting she's just getting truly bodied by by a luigi doing those nasty aerial combos <laughs> yes. 
Yes. All right, we got a. Uh, uh, you think Young Rhaenyra is the same? I think Young Rhaenyra uh, probably plays a bunch of different characters to try them on, and then like slowly but surely realizes you two feels right for her. You're right. That is the purpose of youth. The purpose of youth is to decide your smash mate. Yes, we should probably say our smash mean certainly. Uh, people can get people guess in the comments. Uh, we'll give you like a whole minute here. Yeah, you to type in your comment and guess who our smash mains are. You write them down. Starting, starting, starting outside in, Zach. Who are your who are your mains in ultimate? Uh, my mains in all the what? In ultimate. In ultimate, yes. Yeah. Uh, my main has been the same since the original Smash Bros. Which is a fun thing to be able to say. Are we just going to say who our mains are now? Or are we still biding time? Uh, I think we're still biding time. Who are your secondaries, first off? My secondaries? Uh, I like to clown on people with Game & Watch occasionally. So he's a secondary I pull out. But I don't think I'm particularly good at him. I just like to like uh, dodge attacks, occasionally get some cheap shots, and then go for a uh, meme hammer and see if it works out for me. Yeah. Uh, but I don't do that too often. Uh, uh, I have the, uh, I have the the privilege of playing a lot of Smash Ultimate, so I actually yes. have a I have a few secondaries and tertiaries. Uh, included on that list is my is my my old friend Doctor Mario. Doctor Mario, my old your friend. Melee man? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yep. He and Fox were my were my melee mains. Uh, I would bring I would bring the dirty doc to tournaments in melee. That was very fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. The old school Ganon. Uh, very nice. very good. Very fun. Uh, I love a Doya now and then. Doya. Uh, uh, and I've I've been known to secondary some puff at a tournament now and then. I I also started using puff as a secondary actually mm -hmm. uh for the same reason as mr game watch i'm not particularly good but man does it feel nice to get a rest off on someone uh and and i how can i forget i who is probably the person who's probably my highest tier secondary uh hero your hero is very annoying to play against it's filthy <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that people have had guests for our mains, I will go ahead and say, uh, I am a Ness main. I've, I've been playing Ness since the original Smash. And and a Ness is the Ness Ness is the thinking man's main for sure. It, ne it's a it, it, there's a lot like you you can theory craft a lot of ways to handle a uh, match. You have a lot of tools in your toolkit as Ness. Yeah. And they all they all have a good amount of wind up time, so you you really gotta line them up in succession to have them work properly. And seeing a seeing a good nest player at work is sort of like, sort of like sort of like watching like a like a, like a like a um, like one of those like snake charmers. Well, I've always thought of it as like doing setups for like a speed run too, like you can do this wild crazy thing that shouldn't be possible you just have to do all the things right first uh and i isaac uh i main donkey kong online and donkey kong and pikachu offline and yes good god your pikachu your pikachu is great <laughs> uh, uh i i brought I went to FlameCon in New York not too long ago, and I brought my Donkey Kong to one of the casual tournaments there. And I did not realize how casual the tournaments were. And I should not have brought Donkey Kong. <laughs> I should have brought my Puff. Uh, yeah. I think my Puff, my Puff would have like, my Puff would have gone out in like this, in like the semifinals. Uh, but my Donkey Kong, uh, two or three stocked everybody. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, very fun. Zach, what do we think of, what do we think of Damon Targaryen? Damon Targaryen's a puff thing. 
No, surely not. No, he 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 does it so people look at him like really a jigglypuff, and, and like he's like, oh, yeah, fun character, and then like he's the god of pulling off rests on people. Right? Nah, I, I was out here thinking that I was out here thinking he was maybe a game and watch main. Uh, I can see him being a game and watch main who has like uh, the ability to just know when he's gonna get a nine hand. He has that like infernal game and watch sense that only the truest game and watch mains have. Yeah, he he roll he rolls nines and ones and nothing else. <laughs> I could see it. I could see him being a game and watch main. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Uh, what do we think of King Viserys Targaryen? <sighs> I got it. Oh, uh, he's an Isabel. Isabel mean? He's an Isabel. Yeah. You know, he like he sits over he fishes, right? He he plants his he plants his little bombs and he like ru- runs around. I mean the movie like villagers the same moveset. It feels more like his like thing. But, Especially because he just wants to live a pretty like normal life. Like he would see the villager and be like, Wow, he can fish. And, or maybe uh, Steve. Ooh, I could see him being a Steve man. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I he yeah, Viserys. Sword made of diamond. Viserys nice. strikes me as the kind of person who really just wants to play Minecraft. <laughs> Viserys, King Viserys Targaryen's Minecraft stream. Yeah, and, and and actually, yeah, like yeah, he has that whole like building thing in his uh, room. Like in the modern day, Viserys Targaryen would have one bomb ass Minecraft server. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he plays Steve, and he always plays with items on. Yeah, yeah, I could, uh, yeah. Uh, he, he just wants to have fun with it. Yeah. All right, Auto High Tower. Auto High Tower is the Olimar. Yeah, Auto High Tower playing Olimar. He's like uh, trying to outsmart and overthink everyone, including himself, and that's uh, called playing Olimar. <laughs> <laughs> Because no one can kill an Olimar player quite like that Olimar player. <laughs> yes. Uh, an Olimar's player's greatest strength and weakness is trying to micromanage in a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about Allison? Allison, Interesting. Alice, young Allison, young Allison is a peach. Yeah, no, I was saying the same thing. Young Allison would play peach because she's a princess and uh, she like has that like you know floating thing she can do and the umbrella. And it feels very like Allison's uh, idea of what a woman can and maybe even should be. Yeah, that's uh, that's what she thinks a Smash player should be, and then she realized. There was a point where she she grew up and she realized that she was actually she a snake. Rosa Luma. Oh, I, I was going Rosa Luma, but ah, uh, so, I actually same vibe, same vibe, way more direct confrontation and agency. Uh, yes, yep. Uh, actually, I I kind of I kind of dig it. Maybe, what do you think of a zero suit Samus? Also. Oh yeah, she she busts out the Samus when she really needs to put somebody down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we think of Cordless Valerian? Is Corliss a Sephiroth uh, name? Corliss Valerian is a fucking weeb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Corliss Valerian. Um, he, uh, he largely feels like completely frustrated all the time uh, and powerless. So he definitely plays a little Mac. Every oh. time he gets knocked off the stage, he's like, ah, that's recovery. Yeah, and then he he fucking screams, he throws his controller, and then he runs off he to the step stones. <laughs> yeah. We're doing... Uh, okay, this is, this is pre-war Corliss, just for everyone. Okay, yes. that's pre-war Corliss. Good old, good old Leffen Valerian. Oh my god, this is a fun exercise. We should do this for the entire Song of Ice and Firecast. 
That'd be fun. That'd be very fun. Uh, Princess Rainies. Princess Rainies. Someone who, someone who feels spited and now wants to cause trouble. Oh, uh, Luigi Main. <laughs> she's a, she is a Luigi Main who has spent like all the time practicing that one insane zero to death combo that Luigi has. Oh my God! Yeah, and she. She absolutely cannot get enough of Luigi's grab, where she like said to where she throws out the 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 vacuum and then drops it over the edge to bonk you on your way back up. Have you seen the Luigi Zero to Death? I think we'll see if we can find it. Oh oh uh, oh for sure. Oh my, have I seen the Luigi Zero to Death? Okay, making sure. <laughs> uh, I, I feel I feel like our audience needs to know the uh, like absolute like nastiness of it. Uh, I think I got, uh, I think I got, I think Sir Kristen Cole is a Bowser man. I can see it. Um, I don't know. He, he has a little bit of like flair and like the way we see him is super overprotective. I could see him also being a Kirby man. Like the, this cute little thing with the sword sometimes, so at least when he jumps up and says, hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, no, also, no, no, no. Could also be he could also be a link. Yeah, Kirby Kirby is flexible. I think I think he is traditional link. Yes. Yeah, I could, I could see him being a traditional link player. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, this is the this is you know, I grew up with Legend of Zelda. <laughs> uh, what do we think of Mysaria? I think I got Mysaria in one. Uh, solid snake. <laughs> uh, no, Mazaria is Pyramithra. Oh yeah, she's a Pythra player. I'm yeah. not even gonna dispute that. Oh, for sure, absolutely. There's also an argument for Joker. No, I'm thinking Pythra. All right, I like it. I like it. Harold Westerling. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Harold Westerling plays Mario. Her- see it. Harold Westerling plays Mario because he doesn't play that much. He recognizes me. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. Uh who do we got next? Zach, we got Grandmaster Mellows. Grandmaster Mellows, uh I'm trying to think. Uh, he he's always like. It's hard to tell whether he's scheming or not. Uh, I'm trying to think. Smash characters here. Let me pull up the entire roster here in front of me. Uh, I wait, could see. Wait, you him. haven't had the roster up this whole time? Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, that was my mistake. Uh. Oh, uh, he's a, he's a Shulk guy. How dare you insult Shulk like that? He, he looks at him and is like, I need more power. I need more speed. This and he just makes the switch. You don't think he's a Min Min? You can see like him, like trying Min Min when Min Min came out, but I think like he would rather use the tools that he's used to. Uh, uh and he, he got really good at Shulk. You know what? I like it. I like it. Zach, I've got, uh, I've got Lyman Beesbury. I have no clue. <laughs> gonna, <laughs> Lyman Beesbury, master of coin. Lyman Beesbury, who? You ready for some spoilers here, Zach? Go for it. Lyman Beesbury, at the first meeting of the Green Council after King Viserys' death, he is the only person who speaks up in favor of Rhaenyra. He's the only one. Hmm. Well, then he's got to be Ike. He My God, his friends. he is an Ike. Yeah. He, he is an Ike. He's an Ike, yeah. and, and he... Um, uh, uh, he nesses on the weekends. 
Yes. He he played he played Ness uh in melee sometimes. He played everybody in melee, but he likes PK Thunder, but specifically like he really like how Ike feels. Uh I like Ike. You like Ike. Ooh, here's a tough one, Zach. Lionel Strong. Lionel Strong. Mm-hmm. Lionel uh, Strong. If I've ever paused, because I'm tapping back and forth between the person's Wiki of Ice and Fire page and the Super Smash Brothers roster. <laughs> I'm just which I'm uh, oh, Lionel Strong is a Lucario. Well, no, because like his whole thing is that he looks like a, a complete brute, but he's actually quite like smart. And Lucario is kind of the opposite, where Lucario is like uh, looks like it should be like some wacky psychic type thing, but it's actually just a, a really solid fighter. I feel like uh, my man plays a sick Waddle Dee, not Waddle Dee, King DDD, throwing Waddle Dees at people. You know what? I kind like I kind of like King DDD for him. Yeah, King DDD, he, he has a, a, an army of those Gordos to throw around. He has a lot of these bring him in. He looks like a big goof, uh, and then he has a rocket-powered hammer and uh, some sick combos. Uh, I like it. I, I, I love it. I, have, I mean, I hate it, but I like it. Uh, yes. What do we think of Harwin Breakbones? Well, then, like, he's a very I straightforward think. kind of guy. I think he's got to be a Donkey Kong. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could absolutely see um, him just clowning on people with Donkey Kong. Right. He he do yeah. what he do what he do. There's yeah. not there's not too much depth with with Sir Harwin. All right. This is going to be the toughest one, I think. Uh, Laris Clubfoot. S- who is the no. heaviest macro character on the Smash roster? I mean, you could make a case for Olimar, but like you said, like Ness is a thinking man's like uh, character. I could see like Laris Strong kind of reads Ness to me. I think he does he's... have that bastard who only plays Ness energy. I say as someone who has bastard who only plays Ness energy, but he's so patient. Uh, I suppose, yeah. Um, I don't know. You have to be patient with Ness because uh, you only have like two moves that actually KO people at uh, any percentage. It isn't ridiculously high. <laughs> okay, I can get behind it. I could also get behind he, Joker because of like the 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 late battle transformation. Uh, Lucario also gets stronger as the battle goes on longer. Ooh, yes, very patient, very tanky. I kind of like that. Yeah. I see him alternating between all three of those characters depending on the situation. Uh, he's yeah. not. He's not have a. He's not have a real main. He thinks about counter picks. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. All right. What else we got here? Uh, Sir Lenor Valerian, Rider of Sea Smoke. Absolutely the most like anime character possible. This guy's out here playing Lucina, being like, no, it's different from Marth. <laughs> absolutely destroying sir lanor valerian oh my god i can't there's no way i can disagree with that uh uh Vaymond valerian the one person who spoke up in favor of ending the war at the at the like back of the barrel council meetings uh, yeah, I think he's a pit. Yeah, I could see him playing pit. Yeah. All right, we got we got two more here, Zach. We got mm-hmm. Tyland Lannister, Master of Ships, and Jason Lannister, Master of Sass. Tyland's another strong contender for like a uh, Ness sort of thing. Yep, I but, I feel uh, like he's a Ness for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jason Lannister, uh, is an ice climbers player who is not nearly as good as he thinks he is. Uh, He's like, I... I'm wobbling you. I'm wobbling you. He says, as he just hits you while he has you grabbed. Uh, you don't think he's a, uh, he, he's a Kevin character 
who laughs, uh, uh, who belly laughs every time he sucks you up into his little cam- into his little cannon. And maybe he's like, maybe I don't know. I can <laughs> see him playing K. Roll. I feel I feel like he I feel like he would play a character that was in melee because that's what he grew up with, and he doesn't like. Uh, like he knows who K. Roll is because he played like one of those games. But he's like, ah, oh, man, uh, like the ice climbers. Yeah, that's my jam. And then like he he's not that great with them. <laughs> Yo, I am like a pro ice climbers player, and then he's decent. <laughs> uh, I like it. All right, Zach, that's our show. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. That's the entirety of our show. Check the so, check the stuff in the description. It'll be there. Uh. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm Zach I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>